Hi, my name is Leonard Spoto with Asset Exchange Company. What I want to do today is dig a little deeper into the requirements for a successful 100% tax deferred exchange. Now there are two basic elements that you need to remember if you're looking to defer 100% of your taxes. Number one, you need to reinvest all of your cash and number two, you need to purchase property equal or greater in value. So for example, if your property is selling for a net sales price of $1 million, you need to buy $1 million worth of real estate or more. You also have an obligation to spend all of your cash. The sale proceeds that were generated from your sale will be held by the accommodator and all of those funds need to be used as a down payment on the replacement property. So number one, reinvest all of your cash, and number two, purchase property equal or greater in value. Now, you can be creative in how you structure your 1031 exchange transaction. You can sell one property and buy two. You can sell four properties, buy one. You can and you do have the ability to do multi-property exchanges. It's just that if you don't want to pay taxes, you need to make sure that you're spending all of your cash and you're purchasing equal or greater in real estate. Now, what happens if you don't? If you trade down in value, does that negate the entire transaction? No. If you sell for a net sales price of one million and you end up buying 950,000 worth of real estate, only the delta or the differential is taxed. That's called a partial exchange. But remember, if you don't wanna pay taxes, two things. Reinvest all of your cash and purchase property equal or greater in value. I'm Leonard Spoto with Asset Exchange Company. We look forward to working with you on your next exchange.